Hi, Tim Davis here again from CyberSalt Computer Tutorials. Uh, this tutorial is on how to set a custom thumbnail for your YouTube video. As you know, when you upload a YouTube video, uh, YouTube makes a guess of three frames, uh, three frame grabs to use uh, for featuring the thumbnail in search results uh, or when it's just sitting on your page before it's played and oftentimes none of the three thumbnails work. This is the uh, YouTube channel for my church's association that we belong to and uh, this is our president Bill Fici and as you can see uh, he's introducing new staff. The one frame that they've uh, suggested in this video for him and assigned is him with this sort of confused look on his face and he uh, doesn't usually look that confused so um, but we don't want to pick one of these other thumbnails because that's not that's just one of the uh, some of the staff they're being introduced so we want to set a custom thumbnail now as you know if uh, one of these other two thumbnails was better and acceptable you could simply just click on it and set it and save your changes but what we're going to do is we're going to upload a custom thumbnail through this button here now I do want to say that uh, your YouTube channel needs to be uh, verified uh, before you're allowed to upload custom thumbnails. And to verify it, what you need to do is put in your phone number, either a cell phone number or a landline phone number, and then go through the confirmation process uh, in, uh, in, on your channel. In fact, to do that, why don't we just go, if you click on channel, You'll see here it says account status associated gospel churches verified. If you've not verified your account yet, you'll see a button there that you can click that uh, will allow you to proceed with that. Once you've verified your account, then a number of these options that you see down here that uh, on your account would not be lit up in green will be lit up in green, and one of them being custom thumbnails. So we go back to video manager here, and I'm just going to click edit on this video. What we want to do is now get a screenshot or uh, take a picture of a certain frame in this video that we want to use for a custom thumbnail. Having said that, you could always use a, uh, a separate graphic that you've created in a, in a program and upload it as a thumbnail. You just want to make sure that it's a good high-res graphic so that uh, in the different, um, uh, different sizes that the, your video will be viewed. Uh, it's not pixely or doesn't look bad. Uh, also, YouTube really wants you to use a thumbnail that has something to do with the video. So if you have a video on, uh, uh, on say, how to repair furniture, but you think, wow, you'll get more traffic if you put a picture of a cute cat in a tree or something on there, YouTube doesn't like you to do that. Google doesn't like that, so don't do that. So uh, if you're going to do a separate graphic, have it be a title graphic or something you've designed that uh, has to do with the theme of, uh, of your video. Uh, but what we're going to do now is uh, capture a frame from, uh, from this video. So I'm going to take the URL here and copy it. I'm going to open up a new tab and we'll paste that in for the video. Now uh, here's the video playing and I'm just going to pause it. Now at any time you could pause the video where there's a frame that you would like to use for the thumbnail and, uh, and save it. Uh, for uploading. And how you would do that is this. You would use this snipping tool in Windows 7. So I'm going to click Start. I have it right there, but if it doesn't show up fast on your computer, just start to type Snip. And in the search, and you'll see up here, there it is. By selecting the Snipping tool, you'll see I've already got a previous uh, snap here. You want to go up to New. If it's not already going uh, uh, to the selection stage. Click New and now everything gets shaded out and you can use these crosshairs to pick out a frame that you want to use for your thumbnail. And as soon as I, so I'm left clicking and dragging that, as soon as I've selected everything I want and release, it will open up what I've selected and I can now save it to my computer for uploading later. So I'm just going to save this snip right here could just leave this Reverend uh, President's comments, this uh, whole uh, graphic. We could just go save and we'll save it. See, I've already done two captures uh, getting ready for this. So I'll call this Capture 3 and I'll save it. Now, if I didn't want to use that capture, I could always then use this slider to go through the video and uh, look for the uh, uh, 
a, a specific freeze frame that I want to use. And you could also even just go through by hitting play and hit the play, pause, play, pause. You know, just keep doing that until you see the look and the smile and or whatever it is, that, the frame that you want specifically. And again, so I'll just show you. We click on start, type in snip, and go to snipping tool. And then we could select that frame. And we could then, once we get that selected, we could then go like that. Click Save, and we'll give this a name of Capture 4. You could doesn't have to be Capture. You can name it whatever you want. If you want, you can save it as a as a um, PNG. Um, I wouldn't worry about this format, and I wouldn't even bother with GIF anymore. So, uh, but we'll leave it as JPEG. We'll save it. Now we have. I've got a couple of images captured that we can use for uploading as a custom thumbnail. Now before that, just let me just say this, if you're not using Windows 7 and you don't have a snipping tool, if you're using a, a, a PC, you can on your keyboard use the shift and then you look for a button that says print screen, a key that says print screen. And what that does is if you hit when you hit shift and print screen, it takes a snapshot of your entire screen, which you can then go into a, a photo editing software and and then paste the paste this capture in there then you could crop out what you want to use for your thumbnail it's a little bit more uh, convoluted i don't know if snipping tools in windows 8 yet either but uh, i have a longer tutorial on doing that and so i'll put the link up on the screen right here and you can click and go on to that if you want to uh, see other ways and other uses for screenshots anyway so we've got a bunch of uh screenshots here that we can use as a custom thumbnail. So now I'm going to click on custom thumbnail. I'm going to go up to this folder where the screenshots are. And then I had gone through and I like this picture here. So I'm going to click on that, capture two. And I'm going to go open. Now it's being uploaded and it's already there. You notice before it said there's a two uh, megabyte limit to this picture that gets uploaded. Um, so, uh, but we were under that size. So I now say change the image to that. I've selected that custom one. It looks better than this one. And I can now pick save changes. And in a little bit of time, the thumbnail will change. It's not uh, immediate uh, on YouTube, but uh, it, it will happen eventually as long as you've selected it. And that's great. That's a much better look for the video once that gets changed. And will um, be a lot happier with that. And of course, that's automatically going to change everywhere on whatever web pages this video has be em been embedded on. So that is how to set a custom thumbnail for a YouTube video. And uh, hope that was helpful. If it was, why not uh, give the video a thumbs up or even subscribe to the channel? That would be great. Thanks for watching. God bless.